Robert Nagila there. Now, police in South Sudan and Uganda have launched joint patrols between the two countries to curb attacks on civilians by armed groups. Officials in South Sudan say the operation also involves intelligence sharing. CCTV's Patrick Oyet reports. The joint patrols are in response to recent attacks on civilian vehicles traveling between South Sudan's capital, Juba, and Uganda. This month alone, dozens of people have been killed in attacks by armed groups along routes connecting the two countries. At least two bus companies halted operations on these routes as a result. They have agreed on, the, on that, uh, these meetings. Uh, the people are to be deployed both sides and uh, then they have to have a joint uh, uh, technical uh, team to handle uh, the, the, the situation or to supervise the highway security. Police in South Sudan say officers from both countries will hold regular meetings to discuss the operation. It's intended to last as long as there continues to be insecurity along the roads linking South Sudan with Uganda. Police are trying to reassure the public that these routes will now be safer as a result of the joint policing operations. Patrick Oyet, CCTV, Juba, South Sudan.